It's not about the weapon. It's about who's using it, right? In episode 10, John Chris tells Johnny that it doesn't matter how dangerous a knife is, but what matters the most is exactly who is using the knife. And this narrative turns out to be the reality in episode 10. John Chris, despite having the knife with him, he fails to use it on Terry Silver due to his sloppy nature. He literally slides the knife into his karate belt, which was not even tight enough to hold a strong grip while walking. Maybe it won't come to that. It will. During the conversation between Sam and Tori, she tells Sam that their relationship is not going to be broken due to the competition because she doesn't have to face Tori during the fight. The possibility of both of them fighting on the mat is very little. And just after that, they had to face each other by coincident. Now that is a very cleverly put detail. I landed flat on my ass. I don't even know if I should say this or not, but I have seen Davon falling flat with her ass on the ground three times in a row. And she is also the one who caused Kenny diarrhea by mixing some chemicals in his food. So, should I consider this thing as a detail or this is just my intrusive thought? With your help, is gonna win the Sakai Taikai. Can we just appreciate the fact that Anthony's mom basically stayed in the house of Kenny for the entire day only to convince him to take the flight to Spain for joining the competition? She literally has got the patient of a prophet. Carmen, ¿dónde está Carmen? Por favor. When Miguel comes back to America, he begins to speak in Spanish to ask about his mother instead of speaking English. And that behavior of him kinda makes sense to me because he was consumed with a lot of stress and anxiety that moment. He had a fear that he might have lost his mother that day. When Kim hooked up with Chosen again after a long time, you can get to see her throwing off sand from her jacket in the morning. And this thing works as a good evidence that they basically got drunk that night after making out and instead of going back to their hotel, they just slept on the beach all night. Not here, not now. Yes. No! It will not happen again. Better not. Yes! Throughout the series, there's one thing you can notice about Kim Da Yoon. Whenever a character would get into a brawl or something, she would appear out of nowhere like an angel to squash the beef. And I've seen her doing that thing plenty of times. And this thing is probably not a coincidence. There is also a scene in episode 9 where she indirectly hinted on the fact that she didn't enjoy sacrificing her love, friendship and many things of personal life to achieve success in martial arts. She even decided to hook up with Chosen again. And these events are giving off enough signals to realize that she will play a very influential positive role in the next part of season 6. When Tori decided to break up with Robbie, she was basically unaffected by the decision. She was even fighting better in every tournament. But when she got to find out that Robbie has hooked up with Zara, she begins to collapse in every upcoming tournament. And that thing works as a great evidence that jealousy is the most intense and I would say the most destructive emotion a human being can have within himself. And these are the small details that I've noticed throughout the episodes. If you guys feel like I've missed on something, you can let me know in the comment section.